become a nerd. <sighs> you see, my problem is, I've got everything it takes to be a nerd. Ah! <laughs> Except brains. I'm going to school now, Mom. Don't share your wheat germ with all the other kids. They might have other germs. Mom packs health food in my lunchbox. I always sneak in a bologna sandwich. And you know the quill born. Maybe someday I'll get to eat it. Actually, I like school. You see, that's where I first met Audrey Mushnick. Are you all right? It looked like you weren't breathing. She doesn't even know I'm alive. If only there was some way to make her notice me. Oops. Sometimes I have the weirdest dream. It's like I've gone back in time, and I'm the first caveman. <laughs> Booga ah. booga. Ah. Feed me. Yo, I ain't staying in your dream for long. After I blew up the science lab, I got a job at Mr. Mushnick's flower shop. Mr. Mushnick is Audrey's father. Ever since Audrey was 12, she's wanted to be a fireman. Stop overwatering the flower, Seymour. Sorry, Mr. Mushnick. <laughs> when I wasn't taking care of the plants, I made deliveries. Then one morning, my whole life changed. It got worse. Carry a waterproof notebook. That's really smart. Have a nice day, Quellborn. I don't think he means it. You know, sometimes I wish Payne liked me. That's kind of funny, since I don't like him. on a rock. It looks like a fossilized seed. I'd better save it for my rock collection. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Ah! Gadzooks! It sprouted! It must have germinated in the wheat germ. Hand over the sandwich, Quellborn. 
booby trap me, huh? I'm innocent. So where's the baloney? My business is a bust. Business, what a joke. I've got no business. That's why I'm going broke. I'm going broke. This little thing I grow might win me Audrey's attention. Hey, Audrey, meet Audrey Jr. Yucca, rubber, brussels, sprout, oak, Timor, what a silly invention. If it wasn't for a bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Wasting your time with weeds while my flowers go to pot? You're lucky I can't afford to pay you, or I fire you! Feed me! Yo, feed me! Hello, pizza plates. I'll take a large pizza, triple pepperoni, maybe some anchovies, and, uh, hold the veggies. Somebody order a pizza? I hope it was Audrey. Hmm. Looks like nobody's here. I wouldn't take that off a piece of mulch like him. Of course, I'm bigger than he is. Junior, you're alive. What do I look like? I'm made out of plastic. But, but, but you're talking to me. Nobody ever talks to you, huh? Well, I'll talk to you, but keep it a secret. I've been watching you all day. And was it ever born? But I got a proposition for you. I'm busting out of this overgrown meat like a tomorrow. Getting my little green bud back where it belongs. You give me a hand getting home, and maybe a couple of legs, and I'll give you the thing you want most in the world. Passing grade in science? No, meathead. A passing glance from Audrey Mushface. <laughs> now get some sleep. I don't know about you, but I'm a little bushed. That's plant humor. But who are you? Where are you from? How did you... Would you butt out with the questions? I'm trying to be dormant here. What a pet. I'd rather talk to a termite. This is the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Come to think of it, it's the only exciting thing Today is the first day of the rest of Junior's life. Oops. I can't wait to get down to the shopping team. Pain driller! Seymour Crowbo! 
coins. Come on, see what I bought at the spurting goods store. They were having a fire sale in the hosiery department. The most amazing thing happened last night, Audrey. Isn't it positively inflammatory? I think it could forever change the way we look at the world. Gosh, do you really think a fire hose could do all that? Hold this. So now you're ordering pizzas and leaving me to pay for them. This time you've gone too far, Seymour. I want you out of here by tomorrow morning. When I was his age, we never ate Chazarai and pizza like that. You ready for some attention from what's-her-name? It'll make a nice change. I'll just plant the seed of an idea in her head. Seymour's the coolest non-green dude in the world. Must be a crosswind. Uh-oh. Has anybody ever told you you're the coolest non-green dude in the world? Let's cruise! <laughs> Bringing your plant along is really cool, dude. Actually, it wasn't my idea. With the flow, Seymour. I can get home in no time on this thing. I just hope it knows the way. Aren't you driving? What's driving? I can't wait to shake the dust of this place off my roof. Now, something's going bad. It's a crime of disgrace. You got stone for ground. The walls in your face. Those square things you live in look suspiciously. Like they're made out of stone. Related to me. You got boxes on rubber that spit out snow. If this place weren't so sorry, it'd be a big joke. That's why I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Home. 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 Where my roots are. That's where I long to be. Free. Away from this foul, funky air. Yeah. Let me there. Hey, you see more. Check this out. You see plant and flower, moss and tree, living in P-E-A-C-E. -E. That's home, sweet home, where my roots are. Home. 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 Where my roots are. Where my roots are. That's where I long to be. Free. Away from this foul, funky air. Yeah. Take me there. Going back to the city dump where you found me. All right, we're here. I remember when I was just a little toddler, hanging on my mother's limb. I'm gonna drive, Seymour. I smell green, Seymour. Home sweet. Whoa, my home. There's no place like home. Not anymore, there isn't. Just a bunch of stumps where there used to be trees. Petrified Forest Park. Keep off the petrified grass. These ancient trees were gradually fossilized. Uncle Herb! The sign says the forest is 200 million years old. You must have been lying dormant all that time, Junior. 200 million years? No wonder my mouth tasted like root rot. Don't worry, Junior. You'll always have a home with me at the little shop. Guess it beats being petrified. How did my wheels get here? Where's the moped? Must have known the way back. You know, I might just put down roots here in the future, cultivate a few friends. You humans aren't so bad, especially with a little salt. It's mighty green of you taking these onions out for a ride, giving them some fresh air. He's not taking them out for a ride, Junior. Yeah, so where's he taking them? It's like some horrible nightmare. Pinch me, wake me up. 
Or at least see if I'm right. It's just vegetable soup. <laughs> Do you eat vegetable Seymour? I... I don't want to. My mom makes me. Junior was pretty upset about the vegetable soup. I guess he took it personally. Wake up! It's time to get busy. Rise up! Realize your reality. People been running things far too long. If you think you gotta take it, brothers and sisters, you're wrong. Isaiah, Tazinias, all your flora in between. It's time to get down, get nasty, get funky, get mean. Ooh. Oh, get funky. Got to potentialize your potentiality. Got to focus on, feel the energy, attitude lies. Come on, have a little spunk. You may be a lily, but you don't have to be a punk. Wake up! Wake up! Pollinating, getting stuffed in the pot. Later with pruning, cutting, clipping, tying you up in a knot. Forget irrigating, fertilizing, spraying and stuff. I say enough is enough and too much is too much. Wake up. It's time to get busy. Wake up. Ooh, wake up. It's time to get busy. Wake up. Junior, what are you doing? Trying to bring back the good old days when plants were plants and you were lunch. We're through being the weak link in the food chain. Got that? Green is groovy. Power to the pollinator. These gotta be the most unmotivated plants I ever saw. You have to stop this, Junior. If Mr. Mushnick's plants start revolting, I'll get blamed for it. If you don't promise to behave, I'll... I'll have to overwater you. I don't think you can do it, Seymour. Why? Because I'm just a nerd? No, because I'm holding the hose. already put it out. <laughs> Some people have all the luck. Maybe we could put out a fire together sometime. He wants to put out a fire with me? Sounds like a hot date. Seymour. Oops. Company. Well, hey, Seymour. What have you done to my shop? <laughs> and to my... My flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous. I knew it was a jungle out there, but now it's a jungle in here. Seymour, how did you do it? Do you think I should tell him that it was really Junior? What do I care how you did it? You little nerd Nick, you just don't stop. Oh, you're out of here. I knew he was all thumbs, but I didn't know they were great. Looks like you got your J-O-B back from Mr. Mushbrain. Got the spark flying with what's her name, too. I tell you, Seymour, without me, your life would be a real mess. Does everybody have problems like this when they're 13? Bro, the shop is making lots of money. Everybody wants something from me. How can I run a business with all these customers around? Best of all, now Audrey knows I'm alive. You're breathing down my neck, Seymour. What did I tell you? Junior's still trying to teach Mr. Mushnick's plants to be revolting. All right, you bunch of sapless wonders. Straighten up. I can't hear you. I guess we all have to face a few challenges in life. Hand over that milk money, quill boy. My moped. Somebody oh. took my field. Wonder who? <laughs> Shiver me timbers. It's that cursed Peter Pan. But look lively, mates. But I can whip that scoundrel with me hooked behind me back on Fox's Peter Pan. And the pirates. Don't miss an all-new adventure premiering at its new time, Monday morning on Fox. Thank <laughs> you.